Hey everybody, Enigmatic Witch in here for down the line again. The second to last check for Wolverines. Starting to snap some wolf traps a little by little. We're pulling this line and it is a gorgeous day. And the first thing down the line that we caught today was a rabbit. So it was a double, double foot catch as well. Got two, two feet, two lucky feet in that trap. So when I was pulling up here, I seen a few gray jays that were eating on here. And it looks like some raven as well. And probably a fox, I think. A fox came through. So one rabbit caught here is fed at least one fox, a whole crap load of different birds. Nothing goes to waste. Nothing. It's gonna be a good day. Let's hit it. There's a squirrel chilling over here, chattering away at me as I'm driving by. So, squirrels will eat meat. They'll eat a lot of meat. Give them a couple chunks. There you go, buddy. Feed the wildlife. So this set right here is the perfect example of a set that's put in to keep birds from going in. So see the birds, they go up and they mess around a little bit, but they're not diving headlong into it. So we're gonna have to brush in a few more of these sets to make sure that no birds make their way in. They had a few fox walking their way down the trail back here. All the rabbit have moved on, so they're kind of scrounging for food. You can see where they're digging at the ground, probably eating mice. So, nothing but old rabbit tracks here. So we had a few wolves come through here last week. They poked around these sets right here. I set a snare on the far end, one of their crossing trails. Let's take a look and see. I kind of see it from here, which is kind of odd because it's not hidden whatsoever. Oh, nope. It's over there. Ha <laughs> ha. I was hoping. I haven't seen any wolf tracks yet on this side of the line. They've gotten pretty wised up. The season's so, so close to the end that it's not worth my time to go back through and rehang all the snares around different trails. So we're just making sure there's nothing in 330s. And ha <laughs> ha. Oops. 
talking and walking through snares. Didn't really work out too good there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like to say that was the first time that's happened, but always carry a pair of pliers on you. <laughs> that was funny. So today for lunch, we're not having it out on the lake over here, or any lake, because it's just too windy. But this spot right here will do. Cold weather. This is actually breakfast for lunch. <laughs> So what's on the menu today? Tender cheese pretzels. Granola with milk and blueberries. Mountain House. Western style scrambled eggs with ham, pepper, and cheese. There we go. That's our lunch for breakfast. Maple muffin top. So this is where the salt, the coffee, this right here is a little survival pack all on its own. So throughout the year, whenever I get these, I'll usually throw these into packs or into backpacks. Has enough toilet paper for about one good wiping, a moist towel, wet, <coughs> sugar, salt, a little bit of everything. And coffee, freeze dried coffee, which is always a must in the woods. So this becomes its own little, its own little setup there. Cocoa beverage and a toaster pastry. So let's get this set up. And a spoon. So we're waiting for our mountain house to finish absorbing the water, having a cup of tea. Just enjoying this beautiful day. Haven't seen, haven't seen any moose or caribou tracks today. Nothing too close to town here. Everything is getting blown over pretty heavily. Uh, we're, even where the wolves have walked since they've walked through a few days ago, it looks like it's, everything is hard packed and blown over. The birds are singing. I was just thinking about years back, I was walking between these meadows. There's about four lakes that string across over that way. In one spring we were walking around, walking between them, shooting black ducks and we'd pass from one one lake over to the other and uh, this is way before I had contacts and I had my glasses. I put my glasses and hung it from my shirt right here and so as I was ducking and weaving through the trees, came through the other side and was walking along through the grass along the swamp side of that lake and I feel in my chest and those pair of glasses are gone. So somewhere out there in the brush, there's a pair of glasses probably just hanging there from almost 20 years ago. <laughs> oh, but it is awesome up here. They spotted the first 
the first uh, migratory bird of its kind, a seagull, a couple of villages down. So things are definitely on the move, definitely on the move. I'd like to say thank you to all the subscribers and everyone that leaves comments, likes. It's been just so awesome, such a blessing to be able to reach out and show people our life up here. And it's been just great. Our spring carnival is popping up here starting tomorrow. So this is just about the second to last check for Wolverine. So we're getting around getting around to the bitter end of it. The bitter end. Wolves are gonna go till end of April, but I'm not gonna bother. As soon as, as soon as I pull the Wolverine stuff, I think I'll pull the pull the wolf gear as well. If anyone out there has any questions about anything up here, don't don't forget to write it down in the comments. I'll answer as much as I can. So we got the scrambled eggs with ham, peppers, and cheese. For freeze dried, it's not bad. So back in the 90s, I got really used to eating MREs. And into the early 2000s on through there. So when I was a kid, every single every single guy that was over 18 year old, years old fought in a fire crew. FFF, FFS fire crew through BLM, through the state, through different ways. But they're called type type two fire crew. So they're not hot shots. They usually do a lot of mop up work. And I grew up eating MREs. Every fire they return from, the uncles and all the older dudes would come back and just hand these out to us. Going out, going out every day fishing and hunting, fishing for grayling, hunting ducks and all sorts of stuff. We lived on, lived on these quite a bit and got pretty used to it. I haven't had to eat it for more than two weeks at a time, so I can't I can't say that I'd like it if I ate it for more than two weeks straight, but these are pretty darn good. The ham bits in here are a little dry. But since it's uh, about zero and blowing out here, it might not have soaked in as well as if it had been inside. All together, MREs are not bad. We finished our Mountain House MRE lunch. And time to get back at it. Let's hit it. This set here keeps getting bothered too much by birds. So this is what I do and there gets too many, too many birds around. I create a canopy. Create a canopy. So a wolverine will crawl right under here, no problem, and walk straight in there. But for a bird, birds don't care to go underneath stuff like this. Well, that'll keep gray jays and owls and stuff out. Leave it ready for a wolverine. Well, today out here, I'm making sure to get myself a good, a good pole. So this spruce pole, I have a book by the late Reverend David Salmon that talks about how to make it. Oh, so a walking stick. He used to once, once upon a time, it was carried by every single person out here. So it was used for everything from defense to just checking the thickness of ice to just having an extra extra means of keeping yourself upright when carrying a lot of weight. So this walking stick is gonna be a project made to spec exactly how David Salmon made it. And then following this project, we'll try out the bear spear. So first walking stick.
pretty bad. Oh, it was a long day today. No wolf tracks near anything. No fresh wolverine tracks and a whole lot of lynx tracks that try to keep away from my sets. And look at that. Awesome. Man, that is just a perfect catch. Right on his neck, right in his chest. And he is half froze. I could possibly thaw him out tonight and skin him in the morning. Oh man, this is amazing. Finally got one down on this end. Hey, it's been a it's been a chore to keep all this stuff all pinned up ready to go. Look at that. Definitely worth it. Oh, he's a little stuck. Let's scoop him up. I don't want to break any guard hairs on him. Even though they've got a, our thick fur on them, I always want to make sure that we do whatever you can to protect their fur. So if that means digging them out, just like so. Make sure stay. I think the battery just croaked on me while I was digging this wolverine out. But I broke him free from the snow there. And here he is. Oh, he's a big male. And you can tell he's an old one too. It seems like the older ones actually have visible pads on their younger ones. This is all the fur just comes through so thick that you can't even see visible pads. So he is a giant. Get him weighed. Anyone want to get a give a guess on the weight oh yeah he's a big boy make sure to write your guess in the comments and I'll make sure to re respond in the comments to how big it was haha <laughs> very cool Go ahead, last 330 here that we can take and set into this spot let this soak for another check and a half <laughs> great day beautiful day beautiful day Get them covered up and the next.
this is the last set on this side. They're coming back into town. Been a great day. Got a little bit of a sinus cold. That's why my voice might sound a little funny. But they're still out here. Oh, look at that. Someone caught my wolf snare. Walked through and huh. Didn't get caught in it, but knocked it down. Didn't bother coming over to my whole set. So, let's get bait spread out around here and head home. All right, guys, we made it home. We got one big male wolverine today. Awesome stuff. He's about half frozen, so we'll saw him out and get him skinned as soon as possible. All right, y'all, you guys have a good day, good night, wherever you're at. God bless, and we'll see you guys again next time. Make sure to leave a comment below to guess my way to this wolverine. All right, take care. Villages made powers down. We're gonna go assist and help them isolate which uh which phases around town will be staying on. <laughs>